You are worthy. You are worthy. Oh, you are worthy of my praise. You are worthy. Oh, you are worthy. You are worthy of our praise. I say you are worthy, you are worthy of my praise. Let's go ahead and begin to worship the Almighty God that is worthy of our praises, the Almighty God, the everlasting Father, the excellent God, the God that was, the God that is, the God that is to come, the God that never failed. The God that never changed, the God that never disappoint, our justifier, our sanctifier, our able God, that he will bless you, worship you, that we adore your name, let's lift him high. Let's exalt his holy name for what he has done, for what he's doing, for what he will do tonight. Let's bless him, for this is the hour of restoration. This is the time that the Lord is going to restore whatever sickness and diseases that are taken out of our life. The God that restore, the restorer, he is going to restore them, worship and adore him, give him glory, because our God is the healer, is our God, is our king, is our lover, is our redeemer, is our justifier, is our defender. Let's bless and worship him. Let's honor and reference him. Let's adore him. Let's give him praise. Let's give him honor for what he has determined and what he has proposed to do tonight. Let's exalt him in the name of Jesus. I want you to go ahead and begin to pray that God will have mercy upon you today. God will have mercy upon your family in the mighty name of Jesus. That the door of mercy will be open even unto us individually in the name of Jesus. If we be open to our family as we call upon God, there will be an answer. In the name of Jesus, as we call upon God, there will be testimony today. In the name of Jesus, let's pray unto the Lord that God will take control of everything that we are going to do here. In the mighty name of Jesus, let's pray unto the Lord that the presence of God will make that different. In the name of Jesus, let's pray unto the Lord that the hand of God will be upon us individually. In the mighty name of Jesus, let's decree and declare every agenda of Satan, every plan of the wicked concerning the Sabbath is tonight, let's pray that the Almighty God should destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever Satan has set in motion against the service, let them be scattered. Every guardian of the wicked one, let them be frustrated in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray that every yoke that shall be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's welcome the presence of God even in this place tonight in the name of Jesus. Let's saturate the environment with the blood of Jesus. Let's decree and declare and open heaven upon the Sabbath, even to men in the name of Jesus. Let's pray that barriers and interest the Lord will remove from the way of his people, even online, every interest, every distraction, that God will remove it in the name of Jesus, that God will remind his people, even to call into the place of prayer tonight, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray unto the Lord, that God will have his way, that God will prove himself mightily and greatly, in the name of Jesus, that his name alone will be glorified, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every activity of darkness, let the fire of God, let it fall upon them, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the name of the Lord be glorified. Let's pray that everyone that God is going to use to them, that God will use them mightily and greatly. Unction to function. God will release upon their life. All trances, God will give unto them. God will envelope them with fire, and God will be the glory in the midst. In the mighty name of Jesus, let's pray that whatever we bind to them, we remain bound. Whatever we lose, we remain loose. Whatever we ask to come, they will come. Whatever we have to go, we go. In the mighty name of Jesus, let's pray unto the Lord that God will do wonders. Even in our midst tonight, God will revive, God will restore, God will renew, God will empower, 
in the mighty name of Jesus that tonight is going to be a wonderful moment in the presence of God in the name of Jesus everyone that connect everyone that come into the house everyone that connect that their life will not remain the same to them in the mighty name of Jesus and so shall they be in the name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name we have prayed Amen. father we bless you worship you we give you glory we give you honor we give you adoration that it be exalted in the name of jesus we have come O lord my god that it to pray let the spirit of prayer let the power of prayer let the inspiration of prayer let the rest upon each and every one of us in the mighty name of jesus Amen. whatever that we hinder that day i pray you will remove in the name of jesus as we pray O lord my god tonight let there be an answer let there be testimony in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Hallelujah be unto thy name. Amen. In Jesus' unfailing name we have prayed. Amen. And amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We are here tonight to praise the Lord. And we are here to pray. Before we go into prayer, we want to worship the King of Kings tonight. We want to give him praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Always praise the Lord with all my heart. Praise the Lord with all my heart. Always praise the Lord. Always. Bye. 
Wadi Wadi is Wadi Wadi is to be praised, he deserves to be honored, he deserves to be adored, he deserves to be magnified, his name is Alpha, his name is Omega, he's the lily of the valley, he's the rules of Sharon, he's the hall in hall, he's the all sufficient God, let's bless and worship him, let's honor him, let's give him glory for a day like this, a day of restoration, a day of revival, a day of healing, a day of the touch of God, let's appreciate and worship him, because he's the only one that can do it. There is no other person that can do it. Except this our God. That they will thank you. That they will worship you. That they will honor you. That they will refresh you Lord. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Father we give you glory tonight. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. That they be exalted in the name of Jesus. Amen. That it will come, O Lord, before you to pray. That it because you have designed today to be the day that you are going to visit us in a unique and special way. That it for this we say, be exalted in the name of Jesus. Amen. We have come, O Lord, we have presented ourselves unto thee. That it we pray that we manifest your power in an unusual way in the name of Jesus. Amen. We bind, O Lord my God, anything that want to walk contrary, even to our service tonight. We command them to go into bondage in the name of Jesus. Amen. We rebuke every spirit of distraction. We command the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of the most high God, even to take charge, to take preeminence of this environment in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Daddy, for answering our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. And amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to use this medium to welcome us to Restoration Hour. This is the hour of restoration. Whatever the enemy might have taken away from you, the Almighty God is going to restore them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever, whatever it might be, the Almighty God is going to restore them, as I said, in the name of Jesus. Amen. By the special grace of God tonight, what we are considering is, I will restore health unto thee. I will restore health unto thee is a promise is a promise from the lord praise the lord let the children be quiet please it's a promise from the lord god said is going to restore and when god made any promise god is able to keep it god is able to fulfill them god is able even to make them to come to pass and that is what god is going to do in your life and in my life tonight, in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I want us to turn our Bible to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 7. Jeremiah 30, verse 7. God specifically told us to pray this prayer. And we are going to pray the prayer tonight. It might be for you. It might be for somebody else. I don't know what you might have lost in your body. The Almighty God is going to bring restoration in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jeremiah 30 verse 17. Let's read it together. 
for I will restore hell unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wound, says the Lord, because they call thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. So we can see the reason why God said He's going to restore. He said, because nobody care about you. Nobody, nobody deem it fit that you really count. God said, because of that, he's going to, he's going to bring in it. God is going to restore Amen. even else unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Our introduction. I said one of the most important things in life is our health. Our health matters to God than any other thing. And the reason for this is because it takes our health to fulfill the purpose of God. I don't care the vision or the dream that you might have. I don't care the kind of anointing that you might have. If you are not healthy, you are going nowhere. If you are not healthy, you cannot go far. But when you have that health, then you can pursue the dream, you can pursue the vision, you can do what God proposed even for you to do. That is why it is important we pay more attention to our health. Can somebody take the children out, please? Uh, so, that is why it is important that we take proper care of our health. You cannot be careless about your health. You have to pay attention to your health because our health it matters. Not only to us. It matters to God. God wants us to be healthy. It is the will of God. It is the plan of God that we should be, we should be healthy. I said this statement is very, very correct. And what is the statement? He said that health is wealth. It is a common saying that health is wealth. And I'm telling you that statement is very, very correct. Even in this our days. Because no matter how wealthy you might be, if you are not healthy, it's a matter of time. You will trade that very wealth for your health. But my prayer is that your health will not waste your wealth in the mighty name of Jesus. Your health will not waste your wealth in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I pray that God will give each and every one of us a perfect health in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And so shall it be in the name of Amen. Jesus. I said, you, our health is as important as I told us to God. I said, in fact, God doesn't mind to show us mercy, to forgive us of our sin, and to heal us. Even if someone committed sin, God can pardon us as a person under the platform of mercy in order to heal us because our health matters well, can somebody turn his bible with me to the book of james chapter 5 so that you can confirm that please the book of james chapter 5 verse 14 and verse 15 14 and 15 can somebody read it from the church james 5 james 5 14 and 15 if any, if any sick among you, if any sick among you, let him call for the elders of the church. Let him call for the elders of the church. And let them pray over him. And let them pray over him. Anointing him with oil. Anointing him with in the name oil. of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Okay, to continue. Yeah. And the prayer of the faith shall save the sick. The prayer of the faith shall save the sick. And the Lord shall raise him up. And the Lord shall raise him up. And if he has committed sin. And if he has committed sin. They shall be forgiven him. They shall be forgiven him. Congrats of God's word. Praise the Lord. That's okay. You can see there. He said the prayer of faith. We heal that person. Even if that person has committed sin. So that is how important our help is to God. Praise the Lord. Alleluia. So it's so much important to God. So that is why you must not take it, you must not take it lightly. I say our health is so more important even to John too. John the beloved, he gave us some witches in the book of 3 John 2. 3 John 2, I said he wrote to the church in one of his letters. 
He said, I reach above. Can somebody read that place alone? All things. Beloved. Beloved. I wish. I, I wish above all I things. wish above all that things. That thou may prosper. That thou may prosper. And, meaning, yes, and be in health. If even as thy soul prospered. Even as thy soul prospered. I have the assurance that your soul is prosper. Amen. But he said it is not enough for our soul to prosper. We must have a balanced prosperity. We must be financially buoyant. And act wisely, we must be we must be healthy because it is an healthy person that can serve the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. So it is his wish, it is his utmost desire that people should be should be healthy. And my desire for everyone in this house and for as many that join us online is that you shall be healthy in the name of Jesus. Amen. If anything has taken away your health, tonight the Lord will restore health to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, back to the book of Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17 that we have read. That God said, I will restore health. That place clearly tells us that those people, I mean the Zion, that they have lost their health. They don't have it. Because if you have it, there is no need for God to say, I will restore health. There is no need for God to say, I will restore health. Because they don't have that health. That's why he said that it will restore, it will restore health. Now, let's quickly look at about eight things. It might be more than that, but I highlighted eight things that take away someone's health. Eight things that make someone to lose that health. Eight things that call for restoration of health to individual. Eight things that make God to say, I will restore health. Eight things that makes people to lose their health in life. Number one, accident. I say true accident. Accident can make someone disabled. If it can be any kind of accident, it can be an auto accident, it can be fire, storm, or whichever it may be, it can be any accident that can make someone to lose his health. But I pray. Accident will not take you out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Accident will not disable you in the name of Jesus. Amen. And if there is anyone that is in pain because of one accident or the other, God will bring restoration to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number two, I said true afflictions. Can somebody read James 5 13 for us? True affliction. Someone can suffer attack. They can attack someone with sickness. They can afflict someone with sickness. All kind of sickness. It can be cancer. It can be diabetes. It can be anything. Oh, it's opening table there. So, it can be anything. It can be any kind of sicknesses. So, affliction is a terrible thing. And if your case is affliction, the Almighty God is going to deliver you, is going to restore health unto you in the name of Jesus. Amen. James 5, 13. Among you afflicted. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Let him pray. Is any merry? Is any merry? Let him sing psalm. Let him sing psalm. Is any sick among you? Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church. Let him call for the elders among you. It's okay. You can see there. He said, Is any afflicted? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So sickness can come through affliction. And the Bible told us that affliction will not write the second time. I don't know the kind of affliction that you might be going through, but I decree and I declare it will not rise again. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Number three, I say true carelessness. True carelessness. There are a lot of people that they are suffering from sickness, from disease, or that they have lost their health because of carelessness. Gehazi was a very good example who lost his head due to carelessness, confessiousness, sin, carelessness. A man that was healthy, but because he was confessious, because he become very careless, he could have been the one to take the double portion of the anointing of of the anointing of uh, uh, Elisha. But instead of him to part away with the double portion of the anointing of Elijah, he took the double portion of the leprosy of Naaman. Can somebody read that play for us quickly? 
the but, book of second Kings chapter 5 25 to 27 but when he went in but when he went in and stood before his master and stood before his master and Elisha said unto him Elisha said unto him when's coming down when's coming down yes Gehazi. and he said and he said thy servant went thy no servant wither. went no widow no widow and he said unto him and he said unto him wait not my heart wait with you when my heart not went with thee and the man turned again from his chariot and uh, when the man turned again from his chariot to meet thee to meet thee is it a time to receive money is it a time to, re to receive money and to receive garment or to receive garment and only only Olive yard. Uh, olive yard. And vineyards. And vineyards. And sheep. And, and sheep. oxen. And oxen. And men servants. And men servants. And men servants. Yes, and men servants. The leprosy therefore of Norman shall cleave. He said the leprosy of Norman therefore shall cleave unto thee. Shall cleave unto thee. And unto thy seed forever. And unto thy seed forever. And he went out from his presence. And, and he went out from the presence. And the leopard as white as snow. He become as white and as snow. As white and as snow. He parted with leprosy. Leprosy is not in his family, but he parted with that leprosy. Because of our time, we may not be able to read it, and we just go over it quickly so that we have time to pray. Number four, I said, through the food and drink. Through the food and the drink. The book of Ezra 23, 25 to 36 make us to know that someone can get into trouble because of what he hit. I pray what will kill you. What will bring sickness and disease into your body, you will not eat it in the name of Jesus. Amen. What will take away your health, you will not eat it or drink it in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you have been drinking it, God will deliver you from such in the name of Jesus. Amen. And that one is in the book of 2 Kings 4, 38 to 41. But we may not be able to read it because of our time. Number five, I said sinful act. Sinful act. Act of disobedience. Disobedient to the law of God can make someone to lose his health. Many people they suffer because of their disobedience to, to God. The book of uh, John chapter 5 told us about a man who was in uh, a particular situation of sickness and disease for 38 years. Why? Because he committed sin. He disobeyed God. Sinful act. And that makes him to be to help to lose his health. Then number six, I say true inheritance. Someone can inherit something that will take away his head away from him. So whatever you might have inherited from your parents, whatever you might have inherited from your fathers that might cause a problem to your head, the Lord will take them out even tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. And God will restore health unto you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to read up in 2 Samuel 3, 28 to 30. Second Samuel 3, 28 to 30. And afterwards, and afterward, when David had it, when David had it, he said, he said, I am my kingdom, I are guiltless before the I Lord. I am my kingdom, I are guiltless before the Lord. Before the Lord. Forever and from forever the and ever. From the blood of Abner. For the from the blood of Abner. The son of the, the son of Ner. Let it rest on the on the edge of the of Joab. Let it be on the head of Joab. And on all his father's house. And all his father's house. And let them not fall from what? Fail, fail from the house of Joab. Yes. And one that has an issue. Anyone that has issue. It can be issue of blood. It can be issue of water or anything. All it can be says, one. All it says, let it not be found. One thing in the family of Joab. A cause. It did not cause Joab alone. He said, in his family. You will see, and there are a lot of things that David mentioned there. And that is how people inherit that problem. But whatever you might have inherited, that might have taken away your health, the Lord is going to restore health and fix that problem tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said, true age, true age, old age diseases, old age sicknesses, old age diseases. It can be the reason why some people lose their health. So we have been losing, looking at things that may be able to lose their, their health. So, Genesis 48, 1 to 2. Then, the last one is true labor. True labor. True labor. When you abuse your body, 
when you abuse yourself, someone can force it. When you when you do what you're supposed not to do with your head, it can make someone even to be sick. The book of Genesis 47, 7 to 9, tell us about Jacob. Jacob, by the time Jacob was at the age of 135, Jacob has become something else. He has become something else. And when Pharaoh was asking that, how old are you? He said, I, am, I have not attained to the age of my fathers. He did not attain to the age of Isaac. Neither did he attain to the age of Abraham, his forefathers. Because of age, he lost his head. So tonight, we want to pray concerning the restoration of it. And the Lord will restore you in the name of Jesus. Amen. So the first prayer we are going to pray tonight is, you are going to cry to God. And you are going to tell me that, God, Father, I thank you for your promise to restore my health. I thank you for your promise to restore my health. He said, I will restore health unto you. So I want you to thank him. I want you to appreciate him. I want you to worship him. I want you to lift up your voice and say, Father, I thank you, I thank you for your promise for your to restore my health. In the name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and begin to pray. Our Father and our Lord, Daddy, I thank you, Lord my God. Because you said you are going to restore health, even unto this house, even unto every family in this house, even unto me, even unto everyone, under the sound of my voice, I thank you, Lord my God, because you are the God, the promise keeper, the covenant keeper. You can never fail your word. I bless and I worship you. I give you glory, I give you honor. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Thank you, ancient of day. Thank you, Jehovah Jari. Thank you, Jehovah Nisi. All glory, all honor. All adoration be unto your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. We are going to say, Father, Father, thank you for being my healer and my restorer. All glory be to your holy name. Let's go ahead and worship him again. My Lord and my God, I thank you for being my healer and my restorer. Is our healer and is our restorer. Is our healer and is our restorer. Is the God that is able, able to do it. Man cannot do it. Nobody can do it except this God. Man can only care. The doctors are not. They can only care. People around you, they can only care. It's only God that can do it. And he said, I am the God that healed thee. In the book of Exodus 15 26, he said, I am the God that healed thee. It's your healer. It's my healer. And it's our healer. Let's bless and worship him. Let's honor and reference him. I thank you because you are my healer. I thank you because you are my restorer. I bless and I worship you. I am that I am. The rose of shadow. All glory and all honor. Be unto your name, O Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. We are going to pray to God our Father. Have mercy upon me and forgive any sin that can hinder you from restoring me. Tonight in the name of Jesus, let's go ahead and begin to pray to the Lord. Our Father and our Lord, anything that will stop your purpose in this night, oh Lord, in our time, our life, any sin, any iniquity, any transgression, by your mercy, oh Lord, let them be forgiven in the name of Jesus. Is there any sin that anyone has committed that will make you not to do that which you have proposed tonight? Daddy, I pray by mercy, you will forgive, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Forgive, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, forgive, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, forgive, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, forgive, O Lord. Every righteous name, that is forgive, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus, mighty name we have prayed. We are going to say, Father, restore health unto me and my family. In the name of Jesus, that you restore health unto me and my family, as you have said in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30. Verse 17, that he restore, and to Lord my God, unto every individual in this house, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, that he restore earth unto everyone under the sound of my voice, even to them, in the name of Jesus, restore earth, oh Lord. You say you are going to restore earth, and that is why we have come before you. You say you are going to restore earth, that he restore earth, oh Lord, to everyone, oh Lord my God, that are part of this prayer, wherever they are, under the sound of my voice, wherever they are, on the service of the earth, wherever they are connected to this program, in the name of Jesus, let there be restoration of heaven, oh Lord my God. You say you are going to restore earth, even unto us. That I pray, Lord my God, as many that are in pain, as many that are in shame, as many, Lord, that are sick, 
As many that are carrying problems, carrying sickness, they are and there. As many, O oh Lord my God, that have been declared, they will terminally heal. As many, O oh Lord my God, that they are pray, O oh Lord my God, that might have been sick, O oh Lord my God, that is even expecting death. That is tonight, O oh Lord, I pray you will restore health. Even unto to them in the name of Jesus. Restore health, O oh Lord. 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 Oh Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. You are going to say, Father, you every wound and injury in my life in the name of Jesus I want to have the understanding of that prayer there are injuries there are injuries that people carry about God said I will heal your wound Amen. that is what is there I don't know the wound that the man must have caused you I don't know whether your wound is physical wound I don't know whether your wound is spiritual some their wound is emotional you can't see it some they have been wounded in their heart it's only God that can heal he said he will heal your wound whatever that represents wound in your life you are going to present it before God tonight and you are going to cry to God and say Father I present my wound before you to die. Father, heal them in the name of Jesus. I present to God. Even my injuries, and to your Lord my God, that He heal them, O Lord my God, in the name of Jesus. Every injury, every wound, internal wound, physical wound, emotional wound, that He have prayed you will visit them tonight, and you will heal them according to your word. Heaven and earth can pass away, your word can never go. Even on fulfilling, we stand upon the premise of your word tonight, and we pray that we heal in the name of Jesus. That He heal the wound, O Lord. That He heal the wound, O Lord. That He heal. The wound of Lord, every wound, every pain in the heart, in the soul, in the body that they are broken, in the brain, in the leg, wherever there might be wound, wherever there might be injury in the life of anyone, under the sound of my voice, that they are brought my God, in the name of Jesus, let there be healing in the name of Jesus. Father, heal them alone, Father, heal them alone, in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. You are going to say, Father, every else. That we have lost through accident, restore them on us in the name of Jesus. Let go ahead and begin to pray. My father, my father, is there anyone that has lost their health that becomes unhealthy because of the accident that they have went through? That they are prayed on by God that tonight they will restore it. That they restore health to love unto them in the name of Jesus. Every health that any woman have lost through accident in this house, whether physical accident, whether spiritual accident, what that might be the accident, that they are prayed tonight. Let there be restoration. Restore the head to love. Restore the head to love. Restore the head to love. Every fracture in the boat. In the name of Jesus. Let there be healing. In the name of Jesus. Every fracture. Oh Lord my God. By the virtue of accident. Let them, oh Lord my God, be restored. In in the name of Jesus, restore Lord my God, restore Lord my God, help them. Oh Lord my God, restore. In the name of Jesus, as men that has lost oh Lord my God, they are health. That have lost oh Lord my God, they are stability because of accident. That it tonight, restore them all oh Lord. Restore them all oh Lord. Restore them all oh Lord. In Jesus, mighty name we have prayed. You are going to say in the name of Jesus, I command every attack against my health to backfire in the name of Jesus. Every affliction against my life backfire. Every affliction against my children backfire. Every affliction against my family backfire in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. My Lord and my God, I decree and I declare against every whole Lord my God, attack and affliction against anyone under the sound of my voice. Every member in this house, every attack against any one of them, every family in this house, Every attack against any one of them, I command them to backfire now. Every attack against me, every attack against my children, every affliction, Lord my God, I command them to backfire, 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 backfire in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We are going to pray to God, our Father, restore every help that has been lost by the virtue of affliction in the name of Jesus. As men that have lost their health because of affliction in this house, restore them, Lord. Restore them, Lord. Let's go ahead and begin to pray. My Lord and my God, is there any
any womb that is being afflicted under the sound of my voice? Is there any womb that has lost their health because of affliction? Tonight I pray that we visit them and you will restore your health in the name of Jesus. Restore their health, O Lord. 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 Lord. In this house, under the sound of my voice, honor your Lord, my God. Anyone, O Lord, my God, that might have lost their health because of the affliction, because of the attack of the wicked, O Lord, that is tonight by your mercy. I pray for restoration that you restore health, restore health unto them, restore health unto us in the name of Jesus. That day I pray, Lord, my God, that to come and do so in Jesus' name. We have prayed by God to say, Father, restore unto me health that I have lost due to carelessness. You know that some people carelessness and they lost their health. You are going to pray that prayer, pray well with that. Father, Father restore unto me, to me. Uh, every health that, that I have lost due to my carelessness. carelessness. Let's go ahead and begin to pray. My Father and my God, I pray. Every health, O Lord my God, that I might have lost, that my family might have lost, that my children might have lost, due to our carelessness, O Lord my God. That in tonight I pray. Let there be restoration. 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 That you restore. That you restore. Restore Lord. Restore Lord. Restore Lord. Restore health Lord. In the name of Jesus. As many Lord in this house that have lost their health Lord my God. Due to carelessness Lord my God. And I pray Lord my God that you will restore them by your mercy. You will restore them in the name of Jesus. Restore them Lord. In Jesus name we have prayed. You are going to say Father. Restore unto me the health that I have lost due to old age. In the name of Jesus. Due to age. In the name of Jesus. Some can see before, but they can't see very well. Some can run before, they cannot run anymore. Some can jump. Some can do it, they can't do it because of their age. I want to pray that prayer very well. Restore unto me every health that I have lost due to my age. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray the prayer. In the name of Jesus. As many, oh Lord my God, that have lost their health. Oh Lord, Lord lost their strength. That is due to their age. Under the sound of my voice. That day I pray that we restore them to them. Restore them, oh Lord. Restore them, oh Lord. You promise that you are going to restore. You said you are going to restore. And it go night, oh Lord. Let there be visitation for restoration in the name of Jesus. Restore them, oh Lord. Restore them, oh Lord. Restore them, oh Lord. Restore them, oh Lord. Every is else that old age has taken away in the name of Jesus. That you restore them, oh Lord. That you restore them, oh Lord. That you restore them, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. There are some that have become old. They become unhealthy because of the work that they do. Because of the work. They have worked themselves. They have worked themselves and they become older than their age. They have worked themselves. Overworked themselves. Overlabeled themselves. So you are going to pray to the Father. Restore unto me every health that I have lost. Ah, due to labor. In the name of Jesus. Abusive labor. In the name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and begin to pray. My Lord and my God, I pray that we will restore, Lord my God, unto me, O Lord my God. Every, O Lord my God, help that I've lost due to the work that I'm doing. In the name of Jesus. Due to abusive work. Due to labor. In the name of Jesus. Every help that labor has slipped. Even out of me. That need to deal, Lord my God. Let them be restored. 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 As I'm here before you. That you restore to me every health to Lord that my labor, oh Lord, has taken away in the name of Jesus. Father, restore, restore, restore them, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, restore them, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, restore them, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, restore them, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We are going to pray to the Lord. You are going to pray that Father, restore unto me every health. That food, that food and drink has taken away in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. My Lord and my God, whatever Lord my God, our food, whatever our dream has have taken away in the mighty name of Jesus, that they I pray for restoration. Father, restore them. Father, restore them. Father, restore them. As many, Lord my God, that has lost, Lord my God, their health because of the food 
That they are prayed in the name of Jesus. That there be restoration, Lord my God. That they restore them, O Lord. 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 In the name of Jesus. Father, restore them, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, restore them, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, restore them, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, restore them, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, restore them, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, restore them, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. My Father and my God. That they are pure, Lord my God. Let them be restored in the name of Jesus. Let them be restored in the name of Jesus. Let them be restored in the name of Jesus. Let them be restored. Whatever food, hold on and drink, has taken away in the name of Jesus. Let there be restoration. Every strength, every power, every health that the food and drink has taken away from our life, from our home, from our body. That day I pray. Let there be restoration in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We are going to pray unto the same Father, restore unto me every health that medication has taken away in the name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and begin to pray. My Lord and my God, that I pray every health, oh Lord my God, that medication that has taken away, that I pray let there be restoration in the name of Jesus. Whatever, Lord my God, the medication. That drugs that are taken away from our system. That they are Lord my God. Let them, Lord my God, in the name of Jesus, be restored tonight. That they restore them, restore them, restore them, restore them, restore them, in the name of Jesus. Every help to Lord my God. That it that has been taken away, that have been stolen away by medication. Let them be restored, Lord. Let them be restored, Lord. Let them be restored, Lord. Restore them tonight. 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 In Jesus' name we have prayed. We are going to pray to God. Say, Father, restore unto me the health that I have lost due to inheritance. Father, restore them to that. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray the prayer. Every health to love my God that might have been lost, that might have been taken away through inheritance. That they are pulled up my God. Let them all be restored to them. In the name of Jesus, that let them be restored. Let them be restored. Restore the health to Lord my God. In the name of Jesus. Unto our people. Restore the health. Unto this house. Unto our children. Unto our men. Unto our women. That they are Lord my God. Restore them Lord my God. Every inherited diseases. Every inherited sicknesses. That make it difficult for people to be healthy. But I take them out to Lord my God. And restore health. You said you are going to do it. If you are not going to do it. You will not say it. You said it. You are going to do it. And tonight, we have come before you that we do it in the name of Jesus. Let there be restoration in the name of Jesus. Restoration in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to pray because say, Father, restore unto me the end that I have lost due to my disobedience to your laws. In the name of Jesus. Let go ahead and begin to pray. That is, I pray every health that any woman has lost in this house, Lord, my God, due to their disobedience to your law, that you restore them tonight, Lord, that you restore them, Lord, by your mercy, that you restore them, restore them, Lord, restore them, Lord, restore them, Lord, restore them, Lord, I am that I am, the rose of Sharon, that Jehovah Jireh, that Jehovah Nisi, that I pray that we will restore them. In the name of Jesus, let them be restored, Lord. In the name of Jesus, let them be restored, Lord. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. We are going to pray to God and say, Father, restore unto me the earth that I have lost uh, due to due to incidents. In the name of Jesus. Unusual incidences. You are going to pray that prayer. There are incidences that makes people to lose their health. You will cry unto the Lord. Say, Father, restore unto me the air that I have lost due to incidences. In the name of Jesus. Let go ahead and begin to pray. My Lord and my God, I pray. Every air to Lord my God. That anyone has lost, Lord my God, due to unusual, Lord my God, incidences. That they are praying them to restore. In the name of Jesus. Father, restore them, O Lord. Father, restore them, O Lord. Father, restore them, O Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. You are going to pray to God. Say everything 
that's supposed not to be alive in my body. Die in the name of Jesus. Everything that's supposed not to be alive in the body of my sheep. Die in the name of Jesus. Everything that's supposed not to be alive in my family. Daddy, put them to death in the name of Jesus. Everything that's supposed not to be alive. Even in this house. Daddy, put them to death in the name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and begin to pray the Lord. My Lord and my God, let them pray. Is there anything, Lord my God, that is alive in our body? That is creating X issue. Is there anything, Lord my God, that is growing? In anyone's body, Lord my God, that is creating X problem, Lord my God. Daddy, put them to death tonight. Daddy, put them to death tonight. Whatever that's supposed not to be alive in my life, in my body, from the crown of my head to the tears of my toes, I pray, put them to death. Father, put them to death. Father, put them to death. Tonight in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. You are going to pray to God and say, Father, everything that you have not planted in my body, dry and die. In the name of Jesus. Everything that the Lord has not planted in my body, dry and die. Try and die. Let's go ahead and begin to pray. I decree and I declare everything that God has not planted in my body, that's not planted in this house, has not planted in your family, has not planted in your health. I command them to dry and I command them to die. I command them to dry. I command them to die. I command them to dry. I command them to die. I command them to dry. I command them to die. I command them to dry. I command them to die. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus, mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. I want to go before the Lord and talk to God now. Maybe there are some special issues in your life that I want to discuss with God. Maybe there are things that are not going the way it's supposed to go. I want to begin to talk to the Almighty God now. Tonight is the night of restoration. Except God tell us to do something, we don't do it in this house. He said it will restore health. He said it will restore health. It will restore it. And when God said it's going to restore, it's going to restore it. He said it's going to give it. I want you to act in faith. Exercise your faith unto God. Begin to ask that specific thing. What is that thing you have lost? Your eyes cannot see anymore. Your ear cannot hear anymore. Your leg cannot carry your weight anymore. What is that issue in your life? Pour out your heart and begin to talk to him. He said he will heal. He said he will restore health. He said he will restore health. God said it. It is his word. The Bible says that God value his word more than any other thing. He said the word that proceeds out of my mouth. He said it will not return back for it. He has spoken it. We have read it. The book of Jeremiah 30, 17 says he will restore health. Pray unto the Lord that God should restore health unto you. I don't know where you need that. I begin, begin to ask specifically. Specifically, Anna was specific. Anna said, God, I want a child. I want a male child. I want a son. It was specific and God answered her. Despite the fact that Pastor was not even leading her in prayer. The Bible says she prayed unto the Lord. Pray unto the Lord wherever you are. Present that thing. It's not good for you to live with sickness. It's not good for you to be unhealthy. God doesn't create you like that. Whatever that is not there from the beginning, I come out and catch fire in my life. Whatever that is not there, that was not so from the beginning, from the crown of my head to the tears of my toes, I command fire of God to consume them. Tonight, let there be restoration of health in the name of Jesus. Let there be restoration. I decree restoration. And so shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I want to put your right hand upon your head as I pray. Father, I sanctify all this hand in the name of Jesus. Daddy, I therefore pray, Lord my God. I stand upon the premise of the word that has been spoken. And the prayer that we have prayed tonight, I decree restoration of health. According to your word, in the book of Jeremiah 30, 17, you say you are going to restore health unto us. I pronounce it. I declare. Let there be restoration in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let there be restoration of health in the name of Jesus. Amen. The eyes that have not been seen properly, I command, receive strength and begin to see clearly in the name of Jesus. Amen. The ear that has not been here, I command to begin to hear clearly in the name of Jesus. 
I decree and I declare bones that are free. Hear the word of the Lord. Receive strength in the name of Jesus. Every organ that are free, I command receive strength right now and begin to function properly in the name of Jesus. Let there be restoration of health unto the family, unto every destiny, unto every life. Under the sound of my voice, in the name of Jesus. Every part that is working against your head, I bury them tonight in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. I decree you are free. And freely indeed. I decree your health. It is permanent. Nobody will be able to reverse it. If there's anyone that wants to reverse the prayer we pray tonight, we we'll sacrifice them for the testimony of this prayer in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Daddy, because you have done this. All glory and all honor be unto your name. Seal it all with the blood of Jesus. And so shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. And amen. Daddy, we commit our offering tonight unto thy care. Sanctify it and use it for your glory in the name of Jesus. Let it be useful for the glorification of your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we bless it. So as we give our offering, I want you to listen attentively. On Wednesday, we are not going to meet, but we are going to uh, have... A movie night on Friday by the grace of God as men that can come to this house, come to the house, let's come and celebrate uh, the uh, Good Friday. Good Friday is this Friday. So please, we want you to be in the house 6 p.m. We are going to have movie night. And God is going to touch your life through that very movie in the name of Jesus. Amen. Come, invite friends, invite family, invite as many that you can invite. And I know your life will not remain the same in the name of Jesus. Amen. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shall we rise up on our feet? I said once again, uh, we are not going to meet on Wednesday uh, for reflection hour. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Uh, praise the Lord. Amen. And if you want to give to this house, you can send it. You can send it to this number 443. Eight five one zero seven zero zero. God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shall we say the grace together? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you for joining us. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. That which God has done in your life shall be permanent in the name of Jesus. Amen. Which I see on Friday by the grace of God. Amen.